today I'm going to show you um, uh, some quick tips on using the new style of ink pads. I realize they're not super new, but if you've been using the old style um, for a while, I'm going to show you some um, easy ways and maybe a different way to use them. I know some people feel like they get inky fingers when they use the new ones. I've um, read some comments online. So the way that we've been using them at my camps and my classes um, is a little bit different. And you may have noticed if you watch my videos, some people say I use them upside down. But it's the way I use them and you don't get inky fingers. So we're gonna start at the beginning. Um, if you, when you first get an ink pad of the new design and I'll show you how um, to put the stickers on and then I'm gonna demo a quick card and show you the way that I use them that way. So it, um, this is how they look um, and you open them as a compact. And I think part of the issue arises um, is when you mix the two styles um, because the other ones were push and pull and so when you have two different ink pads um, on one project then it can get a little confusing, especially for people who don't stamp as often as those of us that stamp almost every day. Um, but the new ones, um, when you get them, they'll have stickers on the back. Um, this is not the one I'm gonna, this is one is already put together. This is Mary Merlot, so it's a brand new color. So if you want any of the new colors and you're not gonna replace all of your pads then you're gonna have some mixed styles. Um, I wasn't going to replace my the in colors that are outgoing this year, but I think I'm going to go ahead and replace them. I do have all of the um, other ones. I just went ahead and got um, new pads in all of the styles because I love these. Um, so you open them like a compact. Get this up where you can see it. So you just literally pull it open like Grandma's old compact. That's it. Pull it open and pull it shut. There's no pushing. There's no shoving like the old ones. Just pull it open. Um, you can slide it in. I never slide it in. So because I never slide it in, there's no inky fingers. So I'll show you how I use them without sliding them. And then you just pop it shut. Um, so that's how you do it. So when you get them, um, they have these stickers on the back. Um, one of the stickers will go here. And because I speak English, I put my English one here. Um, but then they are are a lot of other languages on the back and then there's an empty one. So you can take, where did I put mine? Um, you can use your scissors, you can use, I use my pokey thing. I know it's called a paper piercer. We call it a pokey thing. Um, just because we call it a pokey thing at my camps and my downline meetings. Um, and you just lift off the different color. Um, I don't think you can see it just pull these off and then I stick one on the back that way we have one on the front I stick one on the back um, I usually oops almost stuck that one upside down stick it on the back oops hard to do so you can see it and I can be straight so stick one there then open it and then there's a place down here there's a little slot so that way when it's open and you're using it, you'll be able to see what color it is. So I'm gonna, um, a lot of people use the blank one, but when they're open, then a lot of times, the, again, you can see that it's green and not purple. Um, I'm gonna do men's macaron. I don't know if you're here. here. I don't usually do the Japanese because I can't read Japanese. Um, maybe over time, enough colors come out. I'll speak in a few other languages. So I'm just going to pull the one that says men's macaron. Pull that up. And then you're not going to be able to see me do this unless I pick it up, which may be bad for my placement. Um, and it goes right down inside the hole. And then just a tip. I may have inky fingers now because this is not the best way to do this up in the air. Trust me, much easier to do if you put it on your table. But you know it is what it is for you guys to see it. There. Um, another tip. This end of the pokey thing works great. Look. Perfect. So slide that in there. Then again, just 
shut it. Just they just shut. Um, then this whole little area back here. I see there's there's two stickers. There's a big one and then there's this little one. Um, so you take your pokey thing right here where it's got this little lift up thing and you're going to pull this sticker off. And this whole thing comes off. Some other tips people, some people like to keep these two extra stickers, especially the blank one. Um, if you have a storage system where you can use a sharpie and you could write the name on the blank one or if you just want to um, like where you have markers or your card stock or if you want to um, use that other thing. But this needs to come off and it needs to come off because then the little holes that are here, it makes sure that they fit together snugly. So when you stack them, otherwise if you have that little extra paper, they won't fit snugly. So that's how you um, put them together when you first get them. So now I'm going to um, aim my, card, my camera down for you. in range and because I don't have my laptop set up let me see if you're in there and my husband just got home from work so I have my cappuccino so I might take a couple of sips while it's hot it rained all day today take what I got Ray Dunn just came out with a pencil holder and I put my watercolor pencils in it is that not the bomb.com So my next little pencil thing will have that. That's, that's just a little um, side so I can take a sip of my cappuccino. I put my windows over there and it is casting a glare. A shadow. And, it's gonna, and everything's going to be upside down. So I'm going to try to switch this around for you. Okay. I have, I don't even know what, I don't remember what the name of my stamp set is. Um, rooted in Nature. Sorry for you Aussie girls. I know. Not the best name for the stamp set there. Um, but it is what it is. When I lived there, um, I just said the word. So here I've got my stamp sets. And this is how I'm going to, I mean my stamp pads. are going to be a lot of colors. So if I was doing um, a camp, I would have my colors lined up with these. So we're going to use all these colors. So I'm just going to, again, pop them, pop them open like a compact. And then I'm not going to slide. No sliding. Pop it open. And then this is why people think I use them upside down. See? Is it still in camera view? Because I should have hooked my laptop up. I was trying to go fast. I, ha I was on great aunt duty today. Um, it was supposed to be for my nephew going into first grade school starts this week and daycare had ended um, but my 21 month well, his 20 month 22 month old um, brother had his daycare has hand foot and mouth disease so I had him as well and you know when you have um, somebody that age your day doesn't go as planned so I did get an email sent out because it's the last day of the month um, so I've got my pads lined up here and so see you can see the colors because I've stuck the stickers down in there so I guess you can kind of see on here I don't know that I'm gonna get my stamping in I'm gonna move this just a little bit there we go um, and then here's the stamps that I'm gonna use I'm gonna set those in front so this is how I would do it at, at a camp um, if you are doing it a lot of projects or if you are a demonstrator and you're using a clear mount stamp or a photopolymer you can take a sharpie and you can write um, the color on the stamp that you want to use so this is the Mary Merlot I'm gonna fold that in half this is gonna be the back of our card put that over there I just came up this with this quickly because um, today's the last day of July and I'm doing 31 days of cards and I didn't have I had no idea what I was doing today and like I said I had a he's not a baby but you know I would have rather had a baby because I could have put them in a playpen um, so this is some typing paper I'm gonna tear this so I get a little bit of shading there I'm gonna this is very vanilla so I'm gonna lay it this way so I can get more of the torn edge 
tiny, tiny piece just to hold this in place. I tried to find my snail, but daylight is quickly leaving, and I want to get this posted, at least the card, since it's the last day of... Ugh. Well, I'm not, that's not going to work, so I'm just going to take a, a dimensional. Um, but I want to get this card up for my 31 days. And with the boys here, there was no stamping. There was no eating. There was no anything that I wanted to do. I had to practically um, I don't know what even the word is to get them to leave me alone long enough to get my email sent out this morning. So I was lucky to get that done. So I'll take that. They're not here, they're here often enough that I spoil them. And so then when they're here and I can't spoil them because I need to get something done, then I'm in trouble. Okay, so I've got my stamp pads lined up here. See, all I did was open. So they're kind of laying, I guess you can't really see them. They're just laying like this, just like that. I didn't slide them back because there's no need to. Um, they don't take up any extra space if you had a lot of people. Um, like some, This is my um, chamois. So you can stand them up like that because I don't think that here. See, they're just sitting like that, but I want you to be able to see the card. So that's how they are. I'm just going to use them just like that. I may have, did I lose the card? Card still there, I think. So I want you to see how I use the stamp pads. So I'm going to start because I've got um, I'm going to do some masking with the torn typing paper. Nothing fancy. I'm going to start with the biggest stamp because you want to work down to the smallest. So I'm going to um, it's rich raisin, which I think that's probably pear. You know, I went and I think that's the French. You always want to fill up your space. So I'm going to stamp all the way off the edge. Then I've got my chamois over here. Right now it's hard as a rock. Let's see, hard, hard, hard. Um, spray it with some water. This is our little, um, just little misters. And this is a stamp case. You can just buy the empty stamp cases unless you have any stamp cases that you don't use anymore. And those, it cleans perfectly. This is the world's best cleaning system. It's cheap, cheap, and you can see I've used it a lot. And it stains them, but you could take it later and rinse it out. It, it's stained, but it doesn't transfer the ink. So, done with, um, look, you just pop it closed, and then at class, I have them flip it back over, and done. Stamp goes back on it. No inky fingers. I never even touched anything that could possibly ink my fingers up. So then we'll move up to the next biggest stamp, which you know these kind of leaves are. This was my um, mint macaron. I'm gonna fill this in. A lot of these colors stamp dark, and then as they dry, they get lighter. Take my chamois, nice and clean. Take my stamp pad, never touched anywhere with it, it could get inky, and you just flip it, literally close it, and it's done. Put that back up on there. Then this looks like it's old olive. Yes, vert olive. I think that's probably French. What do you think? My daughter's a Spanish teacher, but none of these are in Spanish. Just kind of fill those spaces up. Take my chamois. It's already wet over here. Again, this is a great on the road cleaning system. Stamps clean, stamp case, take it, flip it, shut it. Nothing's dirty, didn't touch anything, nothing's inky, done. Then I'm going to take this one over here. I'll move this one so you can kind of see better what I'm doing because I think it's losing view. Um, this one's terracotta, which I'm going to think it's Cajun craze. 
it. I'm going to use the Nature's Poem designer series paper on this card. And I can um, be a little messy and fill this up because it's going to have some white space when I'm done. Although you could create your own DSP. Okay, here's what you do with the stamp case. It was open. Shut it. So here, let me well, let me clean my stamp so I don't get myself dirty on this. Shammy little area that I Cajun craze totally off. So a little squirt of water. That's water I keep in here um, in my office. I don't have a sink, so I always have a glass of water um, in my travel mug. I usually just fill it up with the straw. Don't even have to leave. Um, Shammy is hard over here it's still hard so I just spray a little bit um, you don't want to keep these sealed because they can get moldy but if you don't pop this closed all the way it will leave enough air that it gets in if you're going to take it someplace with you then you can pop it closed all the way so for now I just pop one corner closed and it leaves that just enough open that it won't mold so let me again show you here's the stamp pad open it like a compact my finger is dirty from um, earlier when I cleaned it, when I made my um, rough draft of the stamp. So open it like this. You don't need to shut it. I have um, my little camera stand back here, but if they can just flop open on the table, open it, do all of your stamping, and shut it. That's as simple as it can be. You don't need to slide it. Um, if you're going to do a whole lot of stamping, you could slide it, but we're not. Clean your stamp. If you have a class, see they're all clean and ready to go for the next person or your next project or to be put away. This is one of the stamp sets in wood. When I get it, I always take a picture because otherwise you're going to spend 15 minutes playing um, Rubik's Cube trying to get it back in there. So then I have one more color. and I'm going to pull these off with my little posties. Um, this is the Merlot. I've got this saying. Um, stamp this. Be wonderful. Take it. So super easy. Um, my customers, they think the other people, when they see them online, are doing it wrong because this is how I showed them the very first time they ever saw our new pads was open like a compact shut it upside down like that. They just assume that's how you're supposed to use them. I'm not going to clean that one. Then I'm going to take this up here, which you might see that it tore a little bit. I wasn't so concerned about using the little, um, you know, Stampin' Up's doing their 30th year and a lot of um, things are making a little comeback. So paper tearing, making a little comeback in my world because we used to tear everything. Um, here's the... Um, Nature's Poem DSP. So I'm just going to take that and you know, stick it on my Merlot card. This is a super simple card. It would be perfect for a demonstration or for new stampers. Maybe my um, stuff is actually gone. Because I don't think, you know, maybe not. There it goes. We don't sell this anymore. Oh, it is gone. That's why it wasn't coming out. Cut this so it was the full length of the card. Throw that on there. And this is our beautiful, um, I think it's the tea time. But it comes in a double set, and when you tear it, when you cut it apart, take it out of the packaging, then you lose the name. And because time, my um, sun is leaving. It's rained all day the last three days. We've not had rain all summer long in Indiana and then tons of rain. But I think it is the tea time ribbon. So let's stick this on here. You could leave it off if you wanted to give it to a guy. Some guys might like the, the glittery effect of it. I probably wouldn't use my dimensionals, but 
But hey, since I'm out of um, adhesive, dimensionals will work. If I was going to use dimensionals, I would have used the larger ones. And even now they're not going to come off. This is stuff when I do my sped up videos, you don't notice that they, um, if I don't get them off. Because when it goes so fast, you don't even notice that they, that it happened. But the scissors will get them off. There we go. Melt that up in there. So it's just a little hint of the paper on this card. Because this, actually, one of my things is not cut at five and a half. It's either the paper or my cardstock. Let's trim that down. This was actually just a little piece. Um, if you saw my um, card, the Blended Seasons card that I did with the uh, weaves. This was a, an extra strip of the paper that was left laying here, and that's where I got the. So here's the, the card. And a super easy way to use your ink pads. Never get your fingers dirty. Don't worry about your people popping the backs off of them because they're used to using their pads at home because they haven't switched over. If you're a demonstrator or if you um, are starting to replace your pads one by one, um, and you get confused because I know that some people when you only have a few of the new ones it's easy to push them too far so there you go cute little card this will be on my Instagram this will be on my Instagram before this video gets posted because it's getting late and I have to do dinner and I kind of wanted to go to the movies tonight so let me pop back up here so I can say goodbye to you so here's uh, I didn't pop it up enough so I'll wait on here. Here's the card. Have a nice night.